Hello friends, this is Raj Sastri from Raj Option Trading. Today is July 8, 2022. Hope you are all doing well. In today's segment, we will take a look at top cyber security stocks to buy. Look, we got a stock here, Fortinet, one of the leader in cyber security. Look, cyber security is a very good market. It's a sectoral growth market. There is always some virus threat. There is always some bad nation. So that's why uh, companies are pouring money into cyber security. So with that, let's jump in and get started. All right, we'll start with a quick market update and then let's look at market moves. And let's do a quick deep dive on few stocks here like Palo Alto Network, Fortinet, Datadog, Akamai, and Arista Network. And finally, we'll conclude with few top names. So with that, let's jump in here. Look from a market mover perspective, we'll just jump into Finviz platform and take a look at what's going on today. All right, let's jump in here. Look from a market perspective. We've got Dow Jones Industrial Average down slightly today, 46 point. NASDAQ up, which is good. NASDAQ has been going up off late. And we've got S&P 500 down slightly. Uh, market is really wondering where to go. As you can see here in a one day market, it's up and down nicely. And finally, Dow closed down as you can see here. So that's why you got to be careful here. Uh, we got here dead heat between advancing and declining. Look, we got 45% advancing and 49% declining. Today is a little bit bad day. After a couple of, couple of great days, today is a little bit bad day as you can see here. All right, now let's jump in here and look at uh, Stock Rover and look at the moors. From a moors perspective, look from a uh, S&P 500, we got one of my favorite stock here, Advanced Micro Devices. Lisa Su is the CEO here. And it's a, you know, eked a small gain today, as you can see here. And we got Apple, which is one of my favorite stock. It's also up nicely. And we got Nvidia. Look, uh, again, a cheap stock here. It's a great buy at these levels here, down slightly. And we got Carnival Cruise Line down. And Amazon.com also down, as you can see here. Tesla managed to go higher. I think at these levels, I would be buying some uh, put options at the top or selling some call, or selling some call options at the top, so that we earn some premium. And we got a few more here. Oxygen Rental Petroleum looks like Warren Buffett is buying more. Stock came down slightly, as you can see here. And from a segment perspective, look, basic material is getting clobbered here, as uh, as um, US dollars is getting strengthened. Uh, all these basic materials, including gold, silver, they're all getting clobbered here. I would wait slightly or buy slightly, nibble here, and go from there. And look, we got healthcare uh, doing well today. You know, whenever sectors like healthcare goes higher, that tells you you got to be slightly careful because it's a defensive sector. People are putting money into defensive names like healthcare here. Technology also, look, it's uh, eked a small gain here. Not too much, but a small gain. That's also good. All right, now let's jump in here and look at the NASDAQ. From a NASDAQ perspective, look, we got, um, you know, similar names here, AMD, Apple, NVIDIA, and so on and so forth. Nothing new here. And we got PayPal. Look, PayPal came down by $1 here. So it looks like all these fintech type names are having some trouble off late here. All right, now let's jump in here and jump into Thinkorswim platform. Look, from a market perspective, um, as you can see here, um, you know, market is down um, this year. Look nice downtrend here. So that's why you got to be careful. Market is slightly up, as you can see here. All these bounces are, you know, good to nibble slightly, but expect more volatility. If we are not out of the woods yet, there will be, you know, more volatility on our way, especially because Fed is not our friend yet. They're going to raise aggressively and taper down the bond buying program. Look, Dow Jones Industrial Average, also nice trading range here. I can see it hitting the resistance level as it go forward and come back again. It's uh, channeling down, as you can see here. And we got NASDAQ also. Look, it's also in a downtrend. And it might also hit a resistance level and come down. And we got Russell, same pattern here. And look, dollar is getting strengthened, as you can see here. That's the reason um, gold is getting clobbered. All the basic material is getting clobbered here. 
crude oil managed to go slightly high but uh, expect crude oil, crude oil also to have some resistance here mainly because dollar is getting strengthened and bonds are coming down here i think bond buying pro programs will bond, bond selling or tapering down will have an impact on bonds here and in, interest rates are going higher that that's going to be trouble for stock market all right now let's look at the market breadth here all right from a market breadth perspective uh, look we got uh, a market breadth here from a volume perspective um this is a one year let's actually look at 30 day market breadth here that's a little bit better to see all right all right so we got s p 500 trying to make a small up move here in the last 30 days that's a good sign here and skew is uh, coming down that tells you at these levels you can buy downside risk can be a little bit muted upside potential is more and from a advanced decline perspective generally advanced uh, stocks are advancing more that's why um, the moving average of advanced decline line is trending slightly higher that's a good news here and tick perspective overall tick is going higher that's also a good news here and we got volume perspective it's a uptick here in the moving average that's also good uh, VIX is coming down that tells you market can go higher VIX is slowly coming down as you see here and we got put call ratio again 0.69 more call options being uh, traded than put options that's also bullish and look australian dollar jpy combination it, you know that's going higher that tells you uh, you know people are putting money into the stock market borrowing money borrowing the money from currency that's also good here and dollar is getting strengthened that's could be that could be a little bit bad news here uh, we got to pay close attention that's why basic materials like and gold is getting clobbered and the precious metals are also getting clobbered here all right now let's jump in here and uh, look at uh, um, top cyber sector security stocks to buy look we got the list here list is sorted by market capitalization look we got cisco systems at the top here uh, old dog learning new tricks here uh, it's also a cyber security company and look uh, there is a slight insider selling an institution selling not a big deal here for a company of cisco's size it's a very minuscule but look this stock is a good buy at these levels here rsi size 46 that tells the stock is sold off here and in in one day and five days making a small move i think this uh, move uh, can have more legs into this so that's why cisco is a good buy here look they got 20 billion dollar cash on the balance sheet and 13 billion dollar free cash flow nice overall score it's a good one here it's a keeper it also pays a good dividend as many of you know here and then you got here nikesh aurora's uh, palo alto network it's a great company look palo alto network is down 18 percent from 52 week high from an rsi perspective it's slightly high i would love to buy this one a little bit pullback here because uh, 57 rsi is slightly high for me but it's uh, pulled back from 52 week high 18 percent down i would be willing to buy this company on a slight pullback here and go from there and you got fortinet one of my favorite stock here they got a great uh, co-founder and ceo at the top here he's a serial entrepreneur so you could buy this company up here look rsi 63 slightly high for me i will look for a slight pullback and buy this company stock is down 16 percent from 52 week high or buying this on a down day here vmware probably we don't need to worry about this i think uh, there's a agreement to acquire this company by broadcom and we got a few more here i love stocks like crowdstrike i would be paying a very close attention to rsi levels here if the rsi is high higher than 55 or so i would not venture and buy at this time but i would be looking at stocks like uh, net or cloudflare here look rsi is just 51 you could still buy this company here uh, it's a it's a good company right now it's a little bit high price to sales ratio but this company can go higher and we got a few more here look we got uh, stocks like splunk here splunk after going big time high it's slightly coming down here it's a down um 44 percent from 52 week high here you could uh, buy this company also 
um, and uh, look, um, this company not making money yet. That's why you got to be slightly careful. Conservative investors uh, don't need to buy Splunk here, mainly because it's a negative net margin. And Akama is uh, one of my great trading stock here. This uh, fluctuates up and down nicely, very volatile. Also, it's got, got a nice overall ratio here. You know, given the RSI is 43, you could buy some Akama here. This stock is known to jump up and down wildly. At these levels, I love Akama. And I got a few more here. I also love uh, Lydios here. It's a great uh, um, defense or security play here. RS RSI is 52. You could buy this great company. Look at that great performance here, 116% in last five years. And we've got a few more here. I also like stock like Norton LifeLock here. Stock it down as you can see here, RSI 52. You could buy this great company also here. And we've got a few more here. Look, F FI Network is a great one here. Uh, RSI just 50. You could buy this great company. Nice overall score here. This is also a good one to buy at these levels here. And we've got a few more. We look at next slide and see a few more stocks here. All right, so look, we got a few more here. We got CyberArk, CyberArk RSI is 54 here. You could uh, buy this this company also here. Nice five-year performance, as you can see here. Um, and usual, keep a watch on insider buy and selling here, especially when the insiders are buying, institutions are buying. Stocks like Parsons can go higher. But the problem, problem with Parsons is not too much uh, history right now. Look, it's... Um, up just 2% in 52 week high. So we got a few more here. Um, you, you know, you keep a watch on overall score, overall score here, higher the better. Look, we got A10 here. You could buy this uh, cheap stock, just $14 stock here. It's a good one. You could buy at these levels here. We got one more here, N NTCT Net Scout here. It also has a nice overall score. You could buy this stock also. And we got one more here, which is Qualys. You can buy Qualys here, great stock here. 90 overall score, that's a good one here. And you could also look at Mandiant, Mandiant here, MNDT here. Good overall score, 69. All right, now what we'll do is uh, we'll look at a few, uh, we'll look at TC2000 here and uh, see what we can buy at these levels and go from there. All right, so we got uh, TC2000 here, and uh, I love this scanner. It's a uh, dust magic. You can just cut down the noise and get to the stocks that you really love to buy. Look, I love to sort. I love to sort by volume buzz here. I like to look at stocks with nice volume going into it. Look, we got three stocks on the top here: um, NetScout, JamF, and FY Networks. You know, all these three stocks have got nice positive volume buzz here. And as you scan through from an RSI perspective, look, N NTCT and F5, they're sold off here with the lower RSI levels. You could uh, look at those companies here. JamF is, uh, you know, you got to be slightly careful here. Uh, these uh, folks manage Apple um, operating system and uh, do some management there. But uh, Apple is also uh, competing. They might come up with some competing product. That's why you got to be slightly careful. And look, we got a um, lot of these stocks. Keep a watch on EMA 5-day here. All these stocks are crossing their EMA 5-day and 10-day here, with the exception of NTCT here. Uh, they're all in the positive trend. And keep a watch on RSL level here. Lower the better. You could just uh, do a quick uh, condition here and look at uh, lower RSA candidates here. I could just uh, add a condition here and say RSI. And you could, uh, you could just uh, select this one here. You know, instead of 55, I would, I would 50, I would say 55 here. Um, I think these, these will be good ones to look at. Look, we got uh, a shorter list here. RSI is less than 55, as you can see here. We got WRSI right here. All of them are less than 55. And uh, you could look at these names here. Many of these stocks are above their five-day moving average and 10-day moving average with the exception of VMware, as you can see here, and few more. I would be looking at stocks which are crossing five-day moving average. Those are the good ones that tells you they, are, they have some momentum. And if they're crossing or if they're above 10-day moving average, that's also a great one to buy some. Look, we got stocks like Cisco Systems here are trying to cross its five-day 
as well as a 10 day EMA here. That's a good one here. All right, so with that, I jump in here and do a deep dive on few stocks. So for that, I would go into Finviz platform here. Let's look at a few names. Start starting with Fortinet here, FTNT, one of my favorite stock. Look, Fortinet is, uh, you know, as you can see here, very good uh, trading stock. It's also good long-term play. Look, stock is trying to go higher, as you can see here. Nice uptick here in Fortinet. And uh, as you can look down here, Fortinet uh, has got nice uh, or EPS growth here, earnings per share growth. That's a great one here. And sales is also a nice clip here. I love the sales clip here. Shares outstanding is coming down all positive. Great here. And they got an upgrade on June 28th recently. And uh, with the market, uh, with the price target of $70. And look, currently pop price is around 62 here. It can still go higher as you can see here. So with that, I would be, I would be a buyer of uh, Fortinet at these levels here. It's a great stock to buy here. All right, so let's look at a couple more here. Let's look at Palo Alto Network or PANW here. Nikesh Arora, CEO, it's a great company. All right, Palo Alto Network, as you can see here, stock had a big fall early on, as you can see, and now it's trying to make its way higher. RSI is 57, uh, momentum is increasing, as you can see here. That's why it's a good one. And look, this stock, on the contrary, um, they're their earnings per share is going in a negative direction the company is not making money yet but sales is going in the positive direction and they're also slightly reducing their share count that's also good here so look stock uh, uh, you know it's uh, it has to improve its earnings per share uh, i think it has to trend positive as you go forward but i know nikesh or aurora is a great ceo he can turn the ship around here this is, a, this is a leader in the cyber security space currently so that's why i would be a buyer of stock like palo alto network and let's look at one of my favorite akamai you know, i love this stock uh, trade, trades widely as many of you know here look stock got clobbered last quarter and now it's trying to make its way higher slowly i think at these levels akama is a great uh, play here i can see this stock jumping about 100 uh, in, a, in a month or two and look momentum is uh, increasing slightly as you can see here it's uh, trying to slowly go higher still it's rsi size 42 tells the stock is uh, um, clobbered here or pulled back nicely and look, stock is great. Earnings per share is increasing nicely. I like it. Sales is increasing nicely. And shares outstanding is coming. Uh, it's a pretty constant. That's a good clip. No big deal. And look, after the earnings stock got uh, downgraded, it's slowly trying to make its way higher. Um, they got a price target of 102. Right now, price stock is below its uh, current price target. So that's why it's a good one to buy at these levels here. All right, let's go back and see which other stocks we're going to cover here and uh, go from there. I think we talked about these two here. Let's go to Datadog and uh, Arista Network. I love Datadog. It's a great company. Um, I think uh, stock, it, the stock is getting clobbered, as you can see here. And now it's trying to go higher. So I, at these levels, I would be a buyer of Datadog. Look nice down downtrend here. Now it's trying to go higher. RSI is 56, tells you momentum is increasing here. And as you look through their numbers, look, uh, their numbers are increasing slightly. Uh, look, uh, the numbers are trying to go higher slightly, but still negative earnings, not positive earnings yet. Look at the sales. I love this clip. Nice sales clip here. They're doing great. Shares outstanding, slightly increasing, not a big deal at all. And look, they got a price target of $120. That's a good price target here. And current stock price is about uh, 108 Still uh, more upward momentum for this stock here. It's a great buy. And next, uh, we'll look at uh, Arista Network, ANET, one of my favorite stock here. A great CEO, uh, JC Ulal. Look, stock got clobbered earlier on. Now it's trying to make a small uptick here. This is a great one. I love this company. And as you look through here, look from its earnings per share perspective, you know, stock is pretty doing pretty good as you see here. Nice earnings here. Sales is increasing nicely. Shares outstanding is slightly increasing, but not a big deal. 
and stock got an upgrade a while ago this is, this is a long time ago we don't need to worry about this overall i like this company it's a great company and let's look at two more here crowdstrike i love this company one of the leader in the cyber security stock got clobbered as you can see here came down now it's trying to bounce back higher at the same time um look earnings per share is still negative as you can see here but look at the sales it's a going gangbusters that's a great one here share so standing is pretty constant and this case got an upgrade as you can see here from morgan stanley on june 6th with the price target of 215 and right now crowd strike is at 190 i know it has it, it has uh, still more room to run and last but not least let's look at uh, net or cloud player this is one more stock that i love but look stock is uh, global as you can see here it has come down nicely and it's trying to go higher now momentum is increasing slowly and as you look through this company here earnings per share perspective company is not making money but look at the revenue clip here nice revenue growth here and shares outstanding is pretty constant and um, you know all these um, analyst numbers are a little bit dated here back from a february 2022 a little bit old this is a good company understand um, they're not making money yet that's why uh, it's uh, getting some uh, pressure also price to sales ratio is slightly high so with that um, uh, let's uh, quickly conclude here and before, uh, let's look at uh, you know as you look through these uh, cyber security stocks you know be careful and if you're a conservative investor look for positive net margin companies and we've got a few of them with positive net margin look stocks like fortinet it's a positive net margin company and arista network same story and uh, stocks, stocks like Cisco, I did not have, I did, don't have it in this list here. It's a great buy. Also, Akamai has got positive net margin. And stocks like Palo Alto Network, it's growing nicely. Um, and CrowdStrike, same story. And uh, Datadog and uh, Cloudflare, they're growing nicely. But right now, they're not positive net margin yet. So with that, thank you very much. Happy investing and trading. Please subscribe.